What is up YouTube? It's your boy BB Squeeze coming at you with another video about Dragon Ball Z Dokkan and we're going to talk about the Japanese version of Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle, alright? Specifically, we're going to talk about Nucleids and, well, no, just Nucleids, alright? It seems like Nucleids are becoming irrelevant now because of these boss fights. This really came to mind when I was actually thinking about 30 minutes ago, what I was just sitting there thinking about the boss battle for Super Saiyan Blue Kale King Goku and Vegito. And if you notice, if you go against Kale King Goku on Super, you fight him four times. You fight the tech version, his base form, his Super Saiyan form, agility, his god form, or Super Saiyan Blue form, agility, and his Super Saiyan Blue Kale King form, agility. Pretty much what I'm getting at is. It's pretty much pointless to nuke in JPN now with these events and having multiple battles for the events. You know, Goku has them, Vegito has them. The older events kind of don't have them. You know, you can nuke in older events, so you can nuke on sales event. Um, you can nuke during, I believe, Frieza's event. I believe so. You can nuke during, definitely during the surpassing all event with Super Saiyan 3 Goku. That one definitely. But the new ones that's coming out now, the Tech Goku, well, the Legendary Rare Goku, the um, Vegito event, the um, and the event that just came out, the Super Saiyan Blue KO Ken, you really can't nuke because you waste too many resources trying to attempt to nuke. Like I said, Goku, you have to fight him four different times. Vegito, you have to fight him three different times. You are you can't nuke at all. So it's kind of like. Nuke leads are useless in JPN and Globe where they're fine. We still have events to where we can actually nuke the character because we don't have to fight them that many times and waste as many resources getting to the final battle. See what I'm saying? Global we're fine for now, but JPN, nuke leads, and maybe nukers are pretty much useless. Now what I am seeing now, what they're doing, they um when the blue Kyle King Goku was announced. They transcended a couple of other Super Saiyan Blue Gokus. They transcended the Agility one. And if you notice, they transcended the Nuclee one. The Attack one. So what I'm thinking is, since they pretty much erased the whole idea of nuking and JPN, they should just transcend the new leaders and give them a different ability, a, a better ability other than nuking. You know, keep that same nuke lead ability and just give them something else added on to that so they can be at least usable if you're not trying to nuke or attempt to. So, that's what I'm pretty much getting at. The people, the nuke leads anyway, the ones, well, all of them are useless now in JPN. Give them all transcend. Transcend all of them. You know, transcend all the nuke leads to make them more usable now. Because JPN, they're pointless. If you notice, Baby Vegeta came out not too long ago in Super Saiyan 3 Kid GT Goku. They're both nucleids. Goku is the nuclead for strength. Baby Vegeta is nuclead for intellect. Yeah, intellect. Intellect type is useless in Global and JPN. Don't have enough support. JPN especially because they can't even nuke now. So, intellect type is by far the worst type. They rarely get any people to even form a team. So, that's pretty much it when I'm getting at Nucleids are useless unless they can transcend. So that's what I'm getting at. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think in the comment box below. This is a little short. Just want to give my idea on, you know, just nucleids and because people have to buy, and I mean, not have to, but people buy stones. They end up getting these characters. Later down the line, they will be useless. I understand that's generally how it is for all mobile games. Buy a certain character, he's only good for certain months. But think about it. Gogeta and Global will last us at least six months. Whoever paid for Gogeta, you will get your money's worth out of it. He will run through literally every single event in Global that you can throw at him. My thing is, these nuclees that they just came out with, like I said with the Goku and Baby Vegeta, maybe a month right after, they release some boss fights you, with like a four or five part boss battle. They're useless. They can't survive that long because nukes... Not nukes. To nuke, you need to carry the orb changers. Fill up all your slots. You can't heal. You can't ghost usher. You can't King Yama. So I was really already supposed to end the video. I didn't really want to be that short. 
but yeah that's pretty much it let me know what you guys think in the comment box below do you think nuke leaders should be able to transcend and i mean all nuke leads should be able to transcend and gain a different ability to make them usable rather than trying to only have them maximize a nuker's damage well let me know what you guys think in the comment box below and bb squigs out yeah